Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungso, pray for us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, as we celebrate this Sunday Eucharist, let us ask Jesus, our divine healer, to touch us, to heal us, to restore us, and to make us whole again. We know that in Jesus, all things will be well. Let us continue to offer this Mass for our brothers and sisters who are not well, who are sick. Let us pray for those who have passed away and their families who are grieving the loss of their loved ones. Let us also pray for our frontliners, especially our healthcare workers. And let us pray that God may protect us, that God may always keep us safe, that God may make us well. So that we may become less unworthy to receive God's healing love, let us now call to mind our sins, and let us beg the forgiveness by which we are renewed and saved. I confess to, to Almighty, Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do through my fault through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. 
May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, by whom we are redeemed and re receive adoption, look graciously upon your beloved sons and daughters, that those who believe in Christ may receive true freedom and an everlasting inheritance. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, Say to those whose hearts are frightened, Be strong, fear not. Here is your God. He comes with vindication, with divine recompense. He comes to save you. Then will the eyes of the blind be opened, the ears of the deaf be cleared. Then will the lame leap like a stag. Then the tongue of the mute will sing. Streams will burst forth in the desert and rivers in the steep. The burning sands will become pools and the thirsty ground springs of water. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise the Lord, my soul. Praise the Lord, my soul. The God of Jacob keeps faith forever, secures justice for the oppressed, gives food to the hungry. The Lord sets captives free. Praise the Lord, my soul. The Lord gives sight to the blind. The Lord raises up those who were bowed down. The Lord loves the just. The Lord protects strangers. Praise the Lord, my soul. The fatherless and the widow the Lord sustains, but the way of the wicked he thwarts. The Lord shall reign forever. Your God, O Zion, through all generations. Praise, Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, my soul. A reading from the letter of St. James. My brothers and sisters, show no partiality as you adhere to the faith in our glorious Lord Jesus Christ. For if a man with gold rings and fine clothes comes into your assembly, and the poor person in shabby clothes also comes in, and you pay attention to the one wearing the fine clothes and say, Sit here, please, while you say to the poor one, Stand there, or sit at my feet. Have you not made distinctions among yourselves and become judges with evil designs? Listen, my beloved brothers and sisters. 
Did not God choose those who are poor in the world to be rich in faith and heirs of the kingdom that He promised to those who love Him? The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Again, Jesus left the district of Tyre and went by way of Sidon to the Sea of Galilee into the district of the Decapolis. And people brought to him a deaf man who had a speech impediment and begged him to lay his hand on him. He took him off by himself away from the crowd. He put his finger into the man's ears and spitting touched his tongue. Then he looked up to heaven and groaned and said to him, Ephata that is, be opened. And immediately the man's ears were opened, his speech impediment was removed, and he spoke plainly. He ordered them not to tell anyone, but the more he ordered them not to, the more they proclaimed it. They were exceedingly astonished, and they said, he has done all things well. He makes the deaf hear and the mute speak. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear brothers and sisters, he has done all things well. This is what the people said out of astonishment at the healing that Jesus performed on the man who had difficulty in hearing and speaking. After performing some rituals like touching the man's ears, touching the man's tongue, and saying, Ephata, be opened, Jesus opened the ears of the man and he was able to speak clearly. Jesus healed the man, Jesus, made the life of this man well. And so the people said, He has done all things well. Napakabuti ng kanyang ginawa. Pinabuti niya ang buhay ng taong may kapansanan. My dear brothers and sisters, that is who our God is. God makes all things well. Ginagawa ng Diyos na mabuti ang lahat ng bagay. And this is also what we heard in our first reading today. The Lord through the prophet Isaiah says, Say to, the, to those who are, whose hearts are frightened, Be strong, fear not. 
Here is your God. He comes with vindication. He comes to save you. The eyes of the blind will be opened. The ears of the deaf will be cleared. The lame will leap like a stag. And the tongue of the mute will sing. Napakagandang mga pangako ng Panginoon. Kalooban ng Diyos na mapabuti tayong lahat. God makes all things well. But by saying that statement, by saying Jesus makes all things well, we do not only mean the effect or the result of what Jesus does. Kapag sinabi nating ginagawa niyang mabuti ang lahat ng bagay, hindi lamang ito tungkol sa ano ba yung naging resulta o epekto ng kanyang ginawa. Dahil sa kanyang ginawa, naging mabuti ang lahat ng bagay. Dahil sa ginawa ni Jesus, naging mabuti ang buhay ng isang taong may dating kapansanan. The statement, He has done all things well, could also have another meaning. It could also mean the manner or the way Jesus does the things that He does. Hindi lamang yung resulta ng kanyang ginagawa, kundi paano din niya ito ginagawa. Ginagawa niya ang lahat ng bagay ng mabuti. Ibig sabihin, pinagbubutihan niya ang lahat ng kanyang ginagawa. My dear brothers and sisters, this is Jesus' way of telling us that in everything He does, whether that be in teaching, preaching, healing, Jesus always gives His best. Jesus gives His all. Jesus is never mediocre. Jesus is not stingy. Hindi sinasabi ni Jesus, okay na yan, pwede na yan, papasa na yan. Hindi kuripot si Jesus sa kanyang mga ginagawa at ibinibigay. Kapag siya'y nagbigay, ibibigay niyang lahat. Kapag siya'y may ginawa, pagbubutihan niya ang lahat ng kanyang ginagawa. Jesus always gives His best. Jesus always gives His all to the point of offering everything that He has, even His own life. Indeed, Jesus does all things well. Pinagbubutihan niya ang lahat ng bagay. My dear brothers and sisters, do we also give our best? Or are we mediocre? Pinagbubutihan ba natin ang lahat ng ating ginagawa? O may mga pagkakataon na konti lang ang ating ibinibigay? Hindi natin ibinibigay ang lahat. Yung attitude na okay na, papasa na, uubra na, pwede na yan kahit hindi ko ibinigay ang lahat ng pwede kong ibigay. Kahit hindi ko gawin ang lahat ng aking makakaya. St. James, in our second reading today, calls our attention to a bad attitude that we are all guilty of. That is the tendency to be partial. We all tend to be biased and prejudiced 
towards other people. Sabi ni St. James sa ating ikalawang pagbasa, kapag may tao na maganda ang damit, maayos ang itsura, mayaman, binibigyan natin ng magandang upuan. Maganda ang pagtrato natin. Ibinibigay natin ng lahat. Pero kapag dukha, kapag mahirap, kapag madumi, kapag mukhang walang maibibigay, kapag mukhang hindi magdo-donate, hindi rin natin binibigyan ng atensyon. Minamaliit pa nga natin. My dear brothers and sisters, partiality is a sign that we are selective in doing our best. Sa mga taong ito, sa pagkakataong ito, ibibigay ko ang aking lahat. Kapag itong mga taong ito, nakangiti ako kapag harap sa kanila. Pero sa mga taong ito o sa pagkakataong ito, hindi ko ibibigay ang lahat. Sisimangutan ko pa sila. Being partial means we are selective in giving and doing our best. But Jesus does all things well. He consistently does all things well. My dear brothers and sisters, Jesus has done all things well. It could mean the result of what Jesus does, and it could also mean the manner that Jesus does the things that He does. And you know, there is a connection between these two meanings. Jesus does everything well because Jesus does everything well. Napapabuti ni Jesus ang lahat ng bagay dahil pinagbubuti ni Jesus ang paggawa ng lahat ng bagay. The effect is, de de is determined by the manner that something is done. Kung gusto mong maging mabuti ang isang bagay, kung gusto mong maging mabuti ang resulta, pagbutihin mo din. Kapag hindi mo pinagbuti, huwag mo nga asahan na maging mabuti rin ang magiging resulta. The effect is determined by the manner that we do things. If you want to be successful in life, then do your best. Give your all. Gawin mo ang lahat para ka magtagumpay. Hindi ka magtatagumpay kung hindi mo naman ibibigay ang lahat. If you want to get high grades, then study well. Ibigay mo ang lahat sa pag-aaral, pagbutihin mo ang pag-aaral, at magiging mabuti at maganda rin ang iyong grades. If you want to be promoted in work, then give your best. Pagbutihin mo ang pagtatrabaho. Kung hindi mo pagbubutihin ng pagtatrabaho, huwag mong asahan na mabigyan ka ng promotion. If you want to have a strong marriage, if you want to have a stable family, then give your best in loving and being faithful to your spouse and to your family. Ibigay mo ang lahat. Pagbutihin mo, maging tapat ka at magiging maayos at maganda ang iyong pamilya. Huwag tayong aasa na magiging napakabuti ng lahat kung hindi naman natin pinagbubutihan. Kapag gusto nating maging mabuti, mahusay ang lahat, sa kokoonting pagsisikap, yan ang simula ng corruption. Konting binigay, 
Pero gusto maraming makukuha. My dear brothers and sisters, now more than ever, we need Jesus to come to heal us. Because of this pandemic, we are all not well. Lahat tayo may pinagdaraan ng paghihirap. Lahat tayo may pinagdaraan ng sakripisyo. Hindi lamang yung mga may sakit, ang tunay na may sakit. Lahat tayo sa kanya-kanyang paraan ay may sakit din. And even our society is sick. What are we doing? Are we giving our best so that everything will be well? Many people are doing their best, especially our healthcare workers. Ibinibigay ang lahat para lamang mapaglingkuran ang mga may sakit, para lamang mabigyan tayo ng pag-asa. But if they are the only ones who are giving their best, things will not get well. Lahat tayo, tulong-tulong, sama-sama, pagbutihin upang maging mabuti ang ating sitwasyon, ang ating kalagayan. If only the healthcare workers will give their best, and we will not cooperate, we will not do our part, things will definitely not get well. If only some people give their best, if only some people will do things well, and leaders in government will be mediocre, things will definitely not get well. If we want things to get well, to be well, then let us do all things well. Today, my dear brothers and sisters, is the feast day of Mother Teresa of Calcutta. And she is a perfect example of what we are talking about today. Mother Teresa, by serving the poorest of the poor, by taking care of those who are sick, those who are neglected by society, she made life well for them. She gave them dignity. She gave them quality life. But Mother Teresa was able to do this because Mother Teresa would always do things well. She would not settle for less. She would always give the best services, the best facilities, the best love that she could give. She would even say, it's not really how much that you give, but how much love that you put in the giving. That is making other people's lives well by giving her all, by doing things well. My dear brothers and sisters, Jesus does all things well. Let us follow his example. If you want things to be well, then do all things well. Let us all together profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, 
who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, He rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, He will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Jesus Christ has done all things well. How confident and joyful are our prayers for others when we hear these consoling words in praise of the one who makes the deaf hear and the dumb speak. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may be truly Catholic, without distinctions between races or classes of people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that people everywhere may be able to hear the Word of God and respond to it in freedom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That people who care for those with disabilities may be encouraged by the sensitivity and kindness of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer that people who are poor will always have a place in our community. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may be set free and raised up to enjoy God forever. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray in silence for our personal petitions. We also pray for the people who requested our prayers and for the intentions offered in this Mass. Lord of healing love, you have opened our hearts to the Gospel. You have opened our lips to proclaim it. Receive the prayers of believers baptized in the saving grace of your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. O God, who gave us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty, and by partaking of the sacred mystery, we may be faithfully united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. 
It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For, for by His birth, He brought renewal to humanity's fallen state, and by His suffering cancelled out our sins. By His rising from the dead, He has opened the way to eternal life. And by ascending to you, O Father, He has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Jose our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Teresa of Calcutta, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray.
Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. As we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. This is Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Grant that your faithful, O Lord, whom you nourish and endow with life through the food of your word and heavenly sacrament, may so benefit from your beloved Son's great gifts that we may merit an eternal share in his life, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat sa pakikisa sa pagdiriwang ng banal na misa mula dito sa Manila Cathedral. We thank those who are joining this Mass, especially those who come from other countries. Thank you for being part of the online community of the Manila Cathedral. We also thank the different social media platforms sharing our Mass today so that many of our brothers and sisters may be spiritually nourished this Sunday. And may God bless this new week. May God keep us safe. May God make all things well for us, for our loved ones, and for our society. And may, always, may we always give our best. May we always do things well. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you now and forever. Amen. May he let his face shine upon you and show you mercy now and forever. Amen. May he turn his countenance towards you and give you his peace now and forever. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Panginoon sa iyong kulang Bisyong kaloob sa ating puso Aming sarili ay aming handog Laging tapat at laging tugon Naririto handa kami Panginoon